welcome back once again to another Red Beard Reviews RC video. Thanks for clicking in. Today we're going to be looking at the Motion RC P38. And in today's video we're experiencing something that's becoming far too common. So common in fact you may have noticed I made a playlist. Motion RC Carnage. So to be fair in the review, I really enjoyed the look of the P38. I enjoyed flying it briefly. In the past, I had the Blitz RC P38. You can see it hanging in the RC hangar on the other videos. And I really enjoyed flying that one, although it was quite underpowered. This has a four cell battery for each motor. That one ran on just a three cell for both motors. So this is a big improvement. The landing gear is a big improvement and the size is a big improvement on the Blitz RC. Blitz RC being the things that you get off a Banana Hobby website. So I ordered the P38, the F15, and the F16 all at the same time from Motion RC. You've seen what happened with the F15 and the F16. If not, go back and check the channel. The P38, because of the way they treated me on the F15, I almost sent it back. But it's one of my favorite planes since I was a kid and I love the size and I thought maybe since it's a flight line instead of a free wing like the other two it might be a little bit better or different quality so I decided alright I'll keep the P38 because I'm gonna review it that's what I do on the channel if it something bad happens I'll just review that too so at this point in the flight I've got it trimmed out it's feeling pretty solid Time to rip this thing. Some of you may have already noticed the landing light that's supposed to stay off when the gear is up is on and flashing. Typical motion RC quality. In my opinion, she really looks great in the air. It's one reason I love the P-38. This is a pretty great flying plane. It's really heavy, and even with the wing loading, it still slows down really, really well. Check out this slow flyby. Alright, how about a full throttle rip? I'm going to say that's probably cruising up to 70, 75 miles an hour on a Turnigy 3300 4S 30C brand new pack, never flown before and it's rocking one for each motor
Alright, that was a lot of fun. This is actually a pretty nice flying plane. And at this point in the review, I'm pretty happy with their product. But as uh, I'm sure a lot of you tuned in to see, motion RC carnage ensues. So it's a little windy today, unfortunately. Sorry about all the altitude. I'll be bringing it down here pretty quick. And just as in the last video, I'm sure some of you have noticed that pesky landing light is still on when the gear is up. So let's check the invert on this bad boy, shall we? Everything seems to be fine up until right here when I go up to climb a little steeper inverted and then when I roll it over you can tell that it goes down at the exact same angle that it's coming up when I roll it over onto its belly and then at the end you hear me say um, when the camera comes back on out of slow motion I had nothing, but it appears in the video I did have aileron. You can see it going back and forth as it goes down at a very steep angle or sharp angle. The ailerons are still working. As I'm pulling back on the, on the elevator stick, I'm toggling a little bit the aileron so you can see it roll left and right a little bit as it's going down. So. I did still have control see right there the ailerons are moving the thing that's not moving is the elevator because the elevator got pinned in that position whenever I pulled up and that's what happened in my opinion that's the second time I've been kicked in the butt by motion RC servos replace them immediately of course that's my opinion I'd love to hear what you all think down in the comments below Please post your opinion. Once again, Motion RC Carnage. Wing. Motor. Part of the cow. Oh, that's the nose. I bought three $90 receivers from Spectrum 8 channel for these three Motion RC planes, and two of them have hit the ground. And unfortunately, it's all due to Motion RC's poor quality control. I hear they're doing a giveaway soon. That's the only way that I think I would ever own another one of these planes. And on that note, I'm a non-sponsored reviewer, so if you would consider to please drop a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. That would really help the channel. As a wise pilot once told me, you can only hurt him on the ground, so keep him in the air.